Hello, this is Samadan, and Samadan is on a journey not to die. We are here over in the east side of Elwyn Forest. He has in a couple of quests just recently. We are level 11. Not a huge amount on stats at the moment. We're a little lacking in that. We were looking at what we could learn tailoring-wise. I guess another level 60. So many. We've got options here. We need to look at the prices of linen cloth, but um, as it's still the evening on peak time, we're not going to be buying any more linen, but we do have some things on the auction house that haven't yet sold, but we can probably check in on those later. We do have a quest over in this area. We've got Princess Must Die, but we also have a bounty on murlocs at the moment, so we need some torn murloc fins. There's some to the north of the lake here, and I know there's plenty around there. Let's go up there and start our adventures, see if we can um, dispatch a few murlocs along the way. That's obviously dangerous territory up here. We have all around the lake here, there's going to be murlocs I'm pretty sure. Plus we have the other uh, beasts and things around. I mean it'd be a good way for some XP anyway, so we'll work our way through. And this prowler is level 10 already, so uh, I think we're going to get some good XP through this anyway. We'll just work our way around the lake, get ourselves some, some combat practice. As it were. I kind of wish we could have more than the two professions. I know that would probably be overpowered, but still. My buffs. Oh, look, we're at the Murlocs already. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, that was dangerous. There you go. They're so fast, so that's the main problem here. Let's zoom out here. Oh, you need to. Oh, there's a bear! Zoom out just as a bear hits us. Okay, very bear. Now we'll go Q. Do that. And we'll then want you down. That's because I helped that other uh, friend with the buff. But that's the that's the danger of things. Right, is there any more mur murlocs around? The danger here is keep them on their own. If they do come in packs, like there's two there. That's the danger of murlocs. Let's, I'll take the stragglers that are out instead. This one's level um level ten anyway, so danger danger indeed. The key is not to get swamped. One at a time is fine. Draw them to me. Beyond that, no. I think I'll work my way around. Oh, there's another another spawn. Let's just work our way around here. They're fast as well, which is the other issue. The good XP, which is also a good thing. And there's two close by. Let's wait for that to wander off a little bit. Still might be um, fast respawns here, so I might not have to wander too far. Oh, there we go. There's our first torn murloc fin. Let's go with the peripheries. That one over there? Are you okay, my friend? That murloc forager actually drank. That's interesting. Just going to keep an eye, so make sure you're okay. If I help you, I'll get aggroed by both of them. Just going to make sure you're fine, and then we'll carry on round. Otherwise it's danger by association. Starting to get that um, spell combo. Okay, drinking is a bad thing because then you heal up. 
don't have any interrupts. I don't have psychic scream yet. That's something to be careful of. Let's work our way around the lake. I've never really explored around here. I know there's, there's some wizards in the middle or something. There's another village up here. By being further off the beaten track, I may be better off with... The, I'm just going to go with the edge ones. Edge case scenario, as you'd say. I don't really have a huge number of escape options here. I don't know how much these run. Our level 10. Managed to get you before you drank. I'm going to just stay more at the edge here. Keep my wits about me. Keep my mana high and my health high is, is kind of the, the way I'm thinking here. So it seems like drinking is the the hardest thing I've got to worry about. That and the fact that the fact that they are very fast and if I get swamped then I'm in I'm in danger. Just getting the outline so we have other nature beasties to contend with here as well, wandering around. Didn't mean to press that. Three was renew. Ooh, a scroll of protection. I wonder if I should probably use these. Spirit and protection. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty useful. No point just holding on to them. As I'm in an area where I'm going to be doing some steady combat, so I'll get myself buffed up. Ooh, a rabbit's foot. Now I do hear, whether it's a, whether it's an urban myth or not, that oh, what have we got here? Uh, River paws. That's not what I was expecting. Um, that if you keep a rabbit's foot on you, you get more chance of greens. Whether that's an urban myth or not, I do not know. I don't think I really need to do knolls at this point. I, mean, I don't need to do wolves either, but hey, XP is XP. It's just whether I see any more murlocs on my way around here. Now let's have a look. So we're at the top of the lake. How many more murlocs are around here? See, all the, these ones are all going to be doubles. I want to watch out for. That's a single on its own there. You can just ice you out. I'm going to double smite you, but I have a feeling. I just feel like I'm in a danger area here. I'm going to catch you before you drink. There we go. There's that river pool. Let's uh let's try that. Keep the area clear anyway. It's my first encounter with a knoll. And we're gonna see plenty later on, but might as well whilst we're here. That was easy enough. There's plenty around here to keep my XP uh, ticking along, so go through these as we work our way round. We do need the murlocs. Anything for XP at this point. Did 
Should really do the dot first before I shield. That way it's got more chance to tick. You can see it just ticking away at the end here. I just miss out on a tick or two. Ooh, two rabbit's feet. Does that mean I get twice as many greens? Who knows? Ooh, just saw you phasing in there. Dot, and then wand. We're doing halfway through. Kind of like the way this is, it's uh, not very populated and you can progress and advance. Killing as you go, clearing the way. And it's kind of away from hyper spawns this way, with less people around. So it feels more progressive. Anything over here that I need? There's that river pool. So there's a few around here. Looks like I can't quite make out what it is over there. Got some linen though. That's nice. The prowler. It looks like target practice or something over there. Ooh, warrior's pants. The rabbit foot's uh, paid off. Uh, that is a disenchant value of two silver ninety-seven. Or we could auction it off. I mean, it's got stamina on it, so that could be nice for a warrior. Only thing I haven't thought of here is patrols. Anything comes up behind me. Have to be careful. Not sure if there's anything that does a big circle around the lake or anything. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, there's a big knoll camp over here. Not much in the way of murlocs. I don't want to go in the middle because that's something different, I believe. Now, there's a chest here, a battered chest. I'm not going to be doing that. Too many knolls there for my liking. Just get the outliers around the corner there. I'll just grab you. Oh, you resisted. Let's get another smite in. And we'll finish off with the wand. Oh, you run as well. Okay, that is... That's dangerous, that is. Especially as you're running towards... Towards your friends. The dots will help, of course. And the direction I face them, I think, helps dictate the direction they run away. Jerky. Not much in the way of Murlocs here, though. Now we're running a little low on health and mana. Not, not emergency levels, but they are doing some damage. My shield isn't lasting. What was that? Staff. Withered staff. I thought it was a wand for a minute then. Let's just uh, top up my health as we've got a balance between health and mana. And this takes me back round the top. See, there's one of those wizards. What level are they? Defies Rogue Wizard, level 9. So, not much extra in the way of Murlocs around here. We're going to have to do the main camp, it would look like. But we did get a good bunch of bits and pieces. As they're all humanoids, it tends to be... No, I don't have skinning. That's my preferred... That's not a level 7. I'll just bypass you. It tends to be my preferred mob to go up against. Yeah, look at that. 
That village of Murlocs there, that's definitely where we're going to find them. And there's our poor, poor remains. I wonder if there's any Murloc patrols around here. What's our friend doing? You could do with the buff. Just have to watch out. See, I'm going to go around this way. That looks dangerous to go too close to the water. And grab you from here. Grab the forager. So it looks like we're going to have to stick with this area and the hyper spawns that we have. See how we get on with our torn murloc fence. There is the ones to the south as well. That is an option. Question is not to get. You've got one there. Oh, you're already. You've already got help. Are you okay, priest? No, you're not. Let's take that one off. There we go, split them off. Phew, there's a bit of a panic moment there. I'm going to be drinking, but I'm okay for now. There we go, you're safe. Phew. Let's just uh, heal up myself as well whilst I'm here, actually. Don't run too far off. There we go. Oh, that's a prowler move. There's another monarch over there. Let's see if I can grab this one, I think. Just wanted to pull it away from there. There we are. Okay. Slightly more focused. Because of the hyper spawns more than anything else. There are plenty around. Just going to make sure everyone's okay. And people like to come over here because of the guards. There you are, I'll split one off for you. Oh, thank you. Fly by swipe. <laughs> I kind of like the fact that we've got lots of uh, people around and doing different things and running around and getting into all sorts of different bits of danger and what have you. It really does feel... it does feel alive. You get one or two? You got the one. I'll grab this one. Just save you from that. You've got your own issues at the moment. Want the ads. Doing okay for health. It's close. There we go. Keep everyone safe. Everyone's safe and we're all okay. Drinking Murlocs is the danger here, though. Healing themselves up like that. I feel like we're a little bit too close here. Six of eight. Let's go back over this side. 
can see one over there. It's the clusters over here that you just really want to be careful of. And other people's recklessness is another is another factor. That looks like one, but I know there's another one just behind it. Don't think I'm ready for two Murlocs at the moment. You've got two on you at the moment. You're okay. Let's grab that one and pull that away. Had a friend running over towards me there. We did all right. Everyone's splitting off different ones. We're all good. Seven of eight fins. Everyone's doing it. Oh, yeah, it's a bold move. Is that just one round there? Could be. Let's pull it out. There's going to be a respawn around here, though, so just be careful. There we go, we got our fins. Fantastic. We got a good chunk of XP there, we're almost on our way to level 12. There goes a couple of murlocs running back. <laughs> They've been out for a jog. And where was the quest? Torm, bounty on murlocs, who was this? I think it's in here somewhere. Was it in here? No, oh, you're the general trade goods. Okay, let me just check the quest log. Bounty on Murlocs. Uh, Guard Thomas. Ah, no, it's Guard Thomas. Back to the bridge. We're on first first name terms now with the guards. Where's the bridge? Oh, it's quite a ways away. Oh, our auction of strange dust is sold. That's good. So things are coming through. It's going to be a little while before we actually get the money from those. But that will be for make for a good trip back to Stormwind. 44 silver. Obviously things are going to cost money, like our spells and things. I haven't been to uh, buy anything spell-wise at this point. I really want to keep that rabbit's foot. Two in my bags. Probably overkill. I'll practically have a whole rabbit if I could just keep on saving them. Okay, guard Thomas. How goes the hunting? We did well. You have the fins? Great. Marshal Dugan is anxious about the Murloc situation in Eastern Elwyn and I'd like to tell him that it's becoming under control. Your actions have helped realize that. That's good to know. So, what have we got here? Um, in terms of money, I mean, vendor sell price, these are one silver 42 and 44, whereas this is 146. This is actually better. It's also an extra two and a half damage per second. So I definitely want to upgrade this mace. Not that I've been using my maces. I should. I should practice with my mace just to get the skill up. So I have leveled up a little bit. Let's grab that. For the Alliance. 850 XP. We're almost at level 12. So whilst I am here, I will equip... Not a carpenter's mallet. That's not going to do me much good. Let's get the solid metal club. Definitely want that. Get a few things here we can sell or put on the auction house. I'll probably just pop those on as a vendor. So are we done with quests here? I guess the only thing we really need to look at, well I haven't explored down here or over there for that matter, we need to visit the guards and do stuff over this side anyway. The only other thing is Princess Must Die. I'll have, a, I'll have another swing by 
just to see what it's like at the moment. Maybe we'll be better off once we're level 12 dealing with that. But then at level 12 we might be better off with some... With some uh, words. Um, with some more spells. Like if I can get something that increases my armour, that would be really useful. Let's work our way back and see if we can just level up as we go. Killing wars. I mean, I know they're only green, but I'm so close. XP wise to 12. Maybe we can visit our priestess in, uh, in Goldshire. Goldshire. Shear or Shire? See, I'm, I'm just using my wand. I'm not using my mace. Let's try my mace. Skill and mace has gone to 41. Is our skill? Oh, there's something going on here. Are we okay, my friend? Someone's died. Yes, our human warlock seems okay. And there we go. Hitting with a mace, we gained our level. Fantastic. Okay, so with people around, do we consider? Princess at this one. We haven't increased our Your princess is now level nine and we're level twelve. Warlock's gone and engaged. Hope you're okay. Let me help you out here. Let's go with a uh, an entourage princess. An entourage. Help you out. You managed to do it. There we go. You're doing all right. Hello, warlock. You did well. Let's just rebuff you up. So, if a warlock can do it using fancy fencing techniques, I mean, I'm not. I'd rather go toe to toe. I'm going to get some more spells first before I do that. There's no point. Risking it. I mean, we've got a long run back to Goldshire. But I would rather take a long run back, get some spells, get myself properly prepared, than and do this slightly over level, than do it with too much risk. Because that's that's the way I'm playing hardcore. I want to invest in uh, Samadan. And we can see where the end of our rested XP is here, so probably worth uh, increasing that as well. So we made good progress in terms of quests and levels. Uh, some things on the auction house from the last session have sold, so we can probably go back to Stormwind and learn. Actually, we'd probably be better off if we're going to go to Stormwind anyway. We might as well half now, and so we're ready for that for the next the next time. Because we've got lots of things we can sell here. Not necessarily on the auction house. <clears throat> We're at 44 silver. I don't know how much our spells are going to cost us. So yeah, if we head back to Stormwind. And then... And sell... Where's our innkeeper gone? There you are. Welcome to my inn, weary traveller. What can I do for you? We can have... One of these chipped bear tooth. I, mean, I don't really know if these would sell, but I'm gonna just fender them. Not a huge amount there. Tough jerky, I'm just gonna sell. Another teeth warriors pants. Four silver. I could disenchant that.
and the seashell, which a hammer. Neophyte shirt we can get rid of, the patched pants I want to keep keep one rabbit's foot. Uh, hold on, let me just split that up. There we go. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. What can I do for you? I will sell one. There we go. And a thin cloth belt. We got an upgrade on. We could do some doing some cooking at some point. That's going on the auction house for now. Everything else we'll keep for now. So that's good. We, oh, how much money have we got? Forty-nine silver. Okay, so let's go. Oh, look at all these people. Um, let's go around this way. <laughs> that's amazing to see so many people. That's fantastic. My uh, nameplate stacking all the way up is just kind of like makes it look a little odd. So let's head round to where's the cathedral district over here. Just minding my own business. Uh, we got a buff. Rally, rallying cry of the dragon slayer. Okay, increases critical uh, chance of spells by ten percent, million range by five thousand. All oh, right, that's a world buff, isn't it? Okay, well that's handy. Washed her back. I love the name. That is a brilliant play on words. Looking a little laggy around here. Okay, back into our lovely cathedral. Let's go visit our priestess. There's a first aid trainer in here as well. Yeah, I'll leave that for now. Okay, um, priest, hi Priestess I Lorena. Is with you, it is indeed, we've is done that I, can I help brilliantly. You? I'd like to learn some more, please. This is what I wanted, inner fire. So that's going to increase my armour by a huge amount, 315. I mean, I'm sitting at currently 175 with bonuses. So inner fire is definitely going to be useful. Powered Fortitude, extra rank, Powered Shield, that's uh, absorbing 88 damage instead of 48 damage. So those are all really good. What's our stamina increase? By 8 for 30 minutes instead of by 3 by 30 minutes. Okay, this is going to cost me. Uh, can I afford it? That's going to cost me 8, 8 and 8. They're all worth it, so... Train, train, and train. Resurrection will leave out. Nothing on the uh, shadow magic at this point. Okay, so that's some really good spells. Light bless you. So let's just learn those. Upgrade what we have. So I would shield rank two, definitely. Inner fire. That's something I want to keep on at all times. Now I'm going to move this to. Maybe seven. Fade's not really much use to me unless I'm in a group, so I'm just going to keep this all the way over here. Inner fire, I'm going to swap with our word shield. Actually, both of these are more buffs. So I'm going to keep them in one place. Those are my attacking things. One, two, three, four. And then Q and E. Those will just keep keep as a clicky thing. Would be useful, I think. Um... Powered Fortitude, Powered Shield, and Inner Fire, those are the three things I got, wasn't it? Uh, powered Fortitude, Rank 1, swap that with Rank 2, so that's 2, so I shall cast that on myself. And Inner Fire, that lasts 10 minutes with 20 hits on it, so as long as I have my shield up, I should be good. So, I think we're, we're ready for Princess now, but again, we... <laughs> We've used up our time. It it's goes so fast when you're playing uh, WoW Classic. All these little chunks of progression uh, means it's really, really good fun. And you feel like you've done something meaningful, meaningful after each time. So with that, I think let's head back to the auction house so we're ready for next time.
we've made made great progress today up to level 12 some extra spells extra bit of questing and some potential auctions coming through actually whilst I'm here if I'm going to the auction house I might as well put on that um, put on the air uh, um, the enchanting material the lesser magic essence let's just go have a look so my auctions ones that have sold is everything so that's good and um, so three sold that's 16 silver coming in let's put on the last one which is this one I've got two of them actually it's even better so currently what did we sell them for on average four silver 69 so that's an increase we'll pop them here we'll do them individually I think you know to want to see that way around isn't it two individually no that way or that way I can't remember I'll go that way Two stacks of one. There we go, that's better. That way we can sell them individually. Uh, everything else? Yep, yeah, that's two different ones. So four silver, 77. Potential, uh, 16 and a 9. 25 coming in, 25. And we also have 25, so that should take us up to 50. And we bought our spells, so we should back up to breaking even. Then it'll be a case of going back and looking at sort of the linen cloth prices. They are not quite where I want them to be at this point. I mean, 26 is okay. I'd love to be able to get them back down to 12 or 14. That all depends on the time I'm on and, and whether anyone else has been resetting these for some extra gold and things. Well, silver and copper at this stage. I mean, if we kept buying them at this price, it would... Actually, I'm just going to buy that one because it's a stack of 20. I'll keep that one there to hopefully uh, keep prices down. But there are there are a lot. I mean, you could do this, but uh, it's just going to take too long. And I've already run out of time, so... Okay, enough chitter-chatter. You've done great, Samadan. We'll leave you there. So there we go, some great progress, some great equipment upgrades. Hope you're enjoying this journey. I'm having a whale of a time at the moment, so... Uh, Please stick with me, there's lots, lots more to come, hopefully. Until next time, happy gold making, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.